So hey guys, we're gonna head into Trader Joe's today and see what good deals we can find. So, hey guys, looky here. We're back from Trader Joe's. We survived, barely. We're gonna show you all the things that we got. We're very, very busy in the kitchen. Welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. All right, guys, we're just gonna go forth with this video. We've got everything going on in this kitchen right now. We are putting away beans. Look at that, nice, long-term. I made a clip on that. Uh, and I'll put it maybe on my next video because I want to update you on some things. So I may talk to you about food storage um, as far as what I do with my beans. But we're also making an apple crisp. Oh, what? And we're also making apple butter. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I lied. It's apple sauce. We're making apple sauce, not apple butter this time. But here's the deal. So I love to go to Trader Joe's. I don't know if you're a big shopper and fan of Trader Joe's, but I do do love to go. We have one in the Knoxville area and I love to go to Trader Joe's. And I said to James the other day, I said, I want to go by Trader Joe's. I said, there's some things that we're out of or I haven't seen or we've never gotten again since like three years ago. What's going on? And he said, it's been forever since we've been. We think it's been probably a year. Yeah, uh, probably around a year or so since I've been down that, uh, excuse me, up over that way. So we went yesterday. I didn't make a huge haul I wasn't sure what I was going to find. I wasn't sure what I was going to see. So I knew and hoped that I would probably pick up on a few of my favorite items. Some of them, they didn't have them. Uh, and things, some things were a little bit different. So we'll talk about that. But overall, listen to me, overall, especially right now, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe it's just our prices here. Maybe it's just our scenario. But if you have a Trader Joe's near you, or if you're gonna be going somewhere that has a Trader Joe's, Stop in there and price compare because to be honest with you, uh, I was rather shocked yesterday. Okay, so I've got all my junk here, but <laughs> we'll talk about it. So here's the deal. I'm actually closer to at least two different Aldi, actually three different potential Aldi, Aldi's as opposed to a Trader Joe's. There's only one. Uh, the next, I believe Chattanooga has one. But Knoxville has one, but Aldi are, uh, you know, you can find an Aldi in a lot of different corners of different towns around here now. You, that used to not be the case, but it is now. But, so, I go to Aldi a lot. You know that. I do a lot of Aldi hauls. Well, you know, Aldi, I love you, but your prices uh, aren't that comparable uh, in terms of, you know, being the most affordable anymore. You're kind of like, up. you're kind of creeping up here, you know, you know, where you were down here. Now you're like kind of up here especially on certain items. Uh, we know that Walmart is definitely that way now. I hardly ever go to a Walmart for different reasons. Safety is one, but number two, it's not worth it because most of the time you go there, a lot of times you go, they're not gonna have it. Uh, and number two, it's not that much cheaper. So, you know, you gotta make your runs count. You gotta make your shopping count. Mom, you know what I'm talking about. So Trader Joe's to me is kind of like a specialty run. So some of the things you're gonna see, these, these are not long-term items per se, 
but they do make your pantry uh, a, a bit more well-rounded. Um, there's certain items that you can certainly try to make a bit more long-term. And honestly, the stuff is just good. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm going to start here. I am. If you've watched me for a long time, you know that I have a love affair with cookie butter. I like crunchy because, you know, I'm all crunchy. <laughs> I can be salty too. Right, girls? I know, I know. I even named my last baby calf, my little heifer out there. Yep, her name is Cookie Butter. This is the best cookie butter in the world. There is nothing comparable to it. Don't even try. I love you. Uh, it's just not the deal. So we went last night. This is one of the items that I wanted to see if they had it in stock. Not only did they have it back in stock from last year. It's been that long. I ain't lying. Because uh, they didn't have any cookie butter. And then um, they've got the crunchy. So I really was super excited. This is a wonderful item, especially right now, because let me tell you right now, what I like to do is slice up an apple and and dip it into the crunchy cookie butter. So if, if, if there's just one reason in the world for you to go to Trader Joe's, this is it. Okay, so right now, obviously we are into the early stages of fall. We are at uh, the 2nd of October, 1st of October. So a lot of Trader Joe's and a lot of these stores are going to have their pumpkin mode going on. I've never tried this. I don't know. Some of these items are new to me, so we're going to find out, but some of them are good, tried, and true. So I'm going to try their quick breads. We've tried their quick breads, and we've tried their brownies. Their blonde brownies are to die for, quick and easy, um, just to have in the pantry. Do you know what I'm saying, Vern? You know what I'm saying? Uh, so I'm going to try this. I have no idea if I'm going to like it. I'm kind of picky about pumpkin stuff. I ain't going to lie to you. Really am. I'm not a pump. I am, if there is a non-pumpkin spice girl on the planet, I'm probably her. Have to really doll it up to like it. So I'm just saying. But I thought I would try this. We're going to see. Well, of course, sitting next to them is their blueberry muffins. And I'm a sucker for blueberry muffins. Uh, I like my homemade version. I like homemade uh, blueberry biscuits, blah, 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 blah. But, you know, I will cheat if I need to. I thought I would try these as well. I've never had them. This is brand new. Like I said, there were some things I'm going to try because either they're new or they haven't been there before or I missed them or something, something, something. You know, these little quick breads and items are nice things to have on the pantry shelf just to be, just to have a little bit of versatility. Now, I'm going to be making some sandwiches coming up. I'm out of Dijon mustard. Yeah, I know we can make all of our mustards and all of that stuff. But I happen to walk by, and I like a lot of their condiments and marineras and spices and things. So, I thought I would try their Dijon mustard. I'm actually going to try a Dijon mustard apple panini sandwich this week. So, um, that just sort of stuck out to me. So, no, no, hey, ain't no thing but chicken wing. Now, I will tell you, if you've ever watched old videos of mine, if I've ever... Have we done a Trader Joe haul before? I don't even know. Uh, listen, this is one of my favorite coffees. It really, really is good. Um, I, You know, you pick it up off the shelf. You grind it there so it's really nice and fresh. Um, this is just a nice breakfast blend, a nice light coffee. Um, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I think it was still $8.99. Um, this is what I'm saying. A lot of items really weren't that expensive compared to a lot of other things that we're seeing, okay? Now, I will tell you in the past, I haven't had this in, in a couple of years. Uh, I think COVID kind of phased it out. A lot of people kept buying it, and I kept missing it because I wasn't going to Trader Joe's. But listen, uh, these little B12s, you just put one under the tongue. I do it in the morning, no big deal. Uh, I really like, this is the high potency, so you do what works best for you or whatever, but I like the B12s, the little tabs, just a little zip, zip, zip. Um, B12 was one of the most important things, I think, to help me get through my COVID situation last year. Uh, we've talked about that before. I won't beat that drum, but I'm just saying they did have those back in stock, so there's that. I love their yogurt. Yes, I make yogurt. I can make my own yogurt, but I ain't gonna lie to you. This little vanilla bean, I'm a, I love vanilla bean, vanilla bean ice cream. These were still 99 cents. Now, I know there's yogurt that are cheaper, such as like Aldi and whatnot, but not much, and it's not near as flavorful. Le flavorful. So I grabbed a couple of these to put in the fridge to enjoy over the next week or two or whatever. But the vanilla bean is my favorite, and like I said, three, four, five years ago, uh, I was paying 99 cents. I'm still paying 99 cents. 
Butter. Show me your butter, baby. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm seeing a lot of different prices on butter by the pound. Uh, clearly right here, you have uh, one full pound of butter right here. It was, I believe it was $3.89 or $3.99. $3.99. Now, that doesn't seem super cheap, but you know the Aldi here? Our butter at the Aldi is $3.89. Like I said, uh, Aldi and all these other places aren't cheaper anymore. I love you. You know I love you. <laughs> Still, that's my baby right there. Okay, I picked this up because I, I, because you know why? Because I have a son that runs out the doors in the morning and he eats a quick bite of oatmeal or an egg or whatever. And every now and then he's like, Mom, just grab me like a Pop-Tart or something. Now, my last boy loves to cook and he loves Chinese food and all kinds of different things. So I got this for him. I've never tried this particular uh, broccoli beef. So this is gonna be for him to experiment with because you know, we gotta make our children happy. So I have no idea, you tell me. I have found that most items in the frozen section at Trader Joe's are pretty doggone good. Especially a lot of the different, the cheese blitz and the waffles and their pizzas and everything else. Like I said, I didn't go crazy and get a whole lot of items this time because it was a fast trip. So I grabbed that for Gabe. I grabbed this for me because I was nosy and I want to try it. Now, by history pass, though, I will tell you right now, this is something that we'd love to keep if we, now we haven't recently, but prior to last year, now last year when we went during COVID or whatever, these were out of stock. Whether it was the vegetable fried rice or whether it was the one with chicken, uh-uh, honey. James is even like, oh my gosh, we haven't had that in years. So we got a couple of bags of these just to put into the freezer. You know, just to have as a convenience item to have for a quick lunch or as a side with dinner or whatever we want to do. Whatever you want to do, girl, it's your world. But I will tell you, this is one of my favorite quick items. I like to crack an egg in it uh, and cook it and it, it in a little soy sauce. It is so yummy. So honestly, if I had to say, Tara, what's your favorite items up here? Well, we know my love affair there. But I love the vegetable fried rice. I really, 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 really do. Now, I have seen everybody really bragging about their facial products. Um, I haven't used them. I've used their shampoos. I love their cleaners, uh, the, you know, the tea tree, all these different things like that. Um, but I thought I would try these. Now, listen, I took a clip of this in the video. I didn't buy one yesterday because I have this one. Please get this and put it in your pantry. They have the best herbs de Provence. This makes a beautiful holiday gift. Our Trader Joe, uh, you know, in normal days past, would have get this in the fall typically, and then they would sell out of it by Christmas time. Because I would like to get this, uh, you know, for different stocking stuffers. This is wonderful on chicken. Oh my gosh! So I'm just saying, in the um, herb section, this is wonderful. Don't miss a beat on that. I got some avocados. Now I will tell you this right here. I got some quick mix. I like to have trail mix just to go have on the go, uh, whatever. I like different varieties, and I love the pineapple. So I grabbed a bag of this. The trail mix and the nut section, imagine that, the nuts, uh, were probably one of the most well-stocked there. There were other holes and lots of things that were either already sold out or missing or changed up. Um, but the nuts, everybody likes to go to Trader Joe's um, to get this I know of, and especially the nuts. Now, I grabbed this because, again, it's a quick little snack item, white cheddar. Who doesn't love that? If you haven't tried their version, really, really nice. And this is one of my favorite chips ever with guacamole. But let me tell you about the fruit section. It was, it was, a, kind of, it was kind of a weird moment. Now, we did browse around at different sections, but because we were so far away and because we were running errands, like I said, I just got a couple of frozen items. I put them in one of my cooler bags and ran. I didn't really get a whole lot of meat or dairy or anything like that because we were not anywhere close to there. I have bought their milk in the past, enjoyed it, didn't have a problem. Their meat, I have never had a problem with. It was, you know, their meats are actually pretty good. They had a decent selection yesterday, looking pretty good, but again, I wasn't into buying $24.99 a pound filet, um, and I was kind of avoiding the meat section simply because of the distance and whatnot. So I didn't do that, but again, price compare, the meats, and all of these items to other areas. I will tell you that when we walked into the store, I don't know how your Trader Joe is set up, but you come in, it's like the flowers, and then they have like little bakery section stuff sitting there, and then they had all the produce. And you know all those middle section things? 
stands that they would have that you can walk around. Apples on one side, oranges on the other, bananas, onions, pepper, all of that was gone. Now they did have the cooler section up against the wall. It looked pretty well stocked, but the, there was a big opening in the center. Maybe they're changing displays. Maybe um, they're getting new little stands. I don't know, but everything was just kind of like open and in crates. Never seen that before. Maybe it's temporary. Don't do, freak out on me by saying, you know, she's trying to say we're running out of apples. No, I'm not. I'm just saying it was different. Even James was like, where's all the stands? I'm like, I don't know. Um, they were short on bread. I will tell you they had no coconut oil. One of the favorite items, if I had a choice to have one more thing here, I would tell you right now their coconut oil is my favorite. It's been in tons of videos in the past uh, where I've made things, you'll see coconut oil. And I love their coconut oil. Didn't have any, not sure what's going on with that. They had the spray, but they didn't have the actual pressed uh, oil. Not really sure. It is wonderful, so try it if you find it. And I will tell you that yesterday was the first day that they had, were doing samples. Uh, it was so fun because one of the gentlemen that I know has worked there for many, many years, older gentleman, so nice. And he you think I talk country, honey. Uh, he, was, he was like, you got to come over here and try this, these crackers and cheese. <laughs> he said, this is the first day yesterday, October 1st, 2022. It's the first day since the COVID pandemic started that they were doing and offering any samples. So no restrictions, no masks, no this, no that. And they were very excited to get back to normal. So let's hope everything gets back to normal, right? Whatever that is, right? All right, guys, I'm going to break from the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I would definitely check it out in your area. I know we get into these ladies, especially we get into these modes of we go to some of the same places. We get, you know, we get in the same circle of stores we go to and we get used to certain prices check them out. If, if, Like I said, if you're going to a town that has one, go in there and see if they have some items that you may want to put into onto your pantry shelf because that is, you know, your food stock and supply right now, top priority. Okay, even if it's just something that's going to last you six months uh, to a year, that's fine. It's still food on the shelf and you can get certain items that, like I said, you can make more long-term uh, a possibility. So definitely do that. Um, so we appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed it. But I was really surprised to see that some of the that the prices either were pretty much the same, or like I said, all these other places have gotten so expensive. Why not go to Trader Joe's? It's never been that expensive, in my opinion, to begin with for the quality that you get. But hey, if you're going to be spending the money. Shouldn't you get the quality? I think so too. Like, subscribe, and share. I'll tell you what I think about some of these items maybe soon. We'll see. Find out what we think. Like I said, if nothing else, just go for the cookie butter. <laughs> Guys, love you. Hope you enjoyed the video. Lot, a lot of different things coming your way this week. And you know what? We'll see you on the next video. Stay very, very busy.